Old Kid here. I wanted to make a quick and dirty video showing how to get Infidelity's Mega Man 2 port working with the Retro Blaster Programmer and the SNES Blaster rewritable ROM cart. Thanks to Retro Stage for figuring out this fix, and also thanks to Infidelity for the awesome work porting NES games over to the Super Nintendo. Check out the links to everything in the description. Why is this necessary? I'm not an expert, so take the following explanation with a grain of salt. Retro Stage discovered that the Mega Man 2 port references locations in the ROM that don't actually exist. Other devices, such as the EverDrive and emulators, have methods of redirecting those lookups to where the code actually lives, a feature that the Blaster ROM cards are lacking. It's possible in time that this video will be obsolete, but as of April 2023, I'm hoping this can serve as a way for more folks to be able to run Infidelity's ports on real hardware. To make the modification, you'll need to download the ROM and open it in your favorite hex editor. Simply select the entire block of code, copy it, and paste it into the first blank entry at the bottom of the hex editor. Save the file with a new name, and when you're done, it should be 496 kilobytes, or exactly double the original. Then, you should be able to throw that ROM on your SNES Blaster ROM cart and enjoy Mega Man 2 on your SNES.